In this lesson, we want to provide for an example that will show us how we can convert a cell array to a structure with appropriate fields. And so we are going to consider that we have a, a cell array uh, containing appropriate data for a basketball player. And so we'll start with our, our data being equal to a cell array. And the cell array we're going to have first name represented, last name, salary. We'll put the jersey number, position, height, weight. points per game. We'll also consider the player's hometown, their home state, and their status. In this case, we're going to say captain. And then we'll also want to consider the actual data. In this case, we'll have the player name. their salary, their jersey number, and position, and we will need their height, weight, Uh, points per game that we can store. as an array. And then their hometown. And if they are captain, we're going to put this as being true. Okay, and let's end it with a brace and semicolon. So now what we want to do is be able to convert this data into a structure. So we'll capture the information needed. We'll put, store the number of columns. What we're going to do is for I, we'll index it for the columns needed. From one to columns. We'll store it into a structure called player. And in this case, we'll have the data. starting at 1 to i is going to equal data starting at 2 to i. And then we'll end. And then what we want to do is print out the new structure that we have. Okay, so here we've been able to provide for our mechanism. We've declared it to be players. And now in order to execute, oh, it says the string is not terminated properly. So where are we? at here is where we have an error. So now we can try expression. So where are we missing something? Right. 
also here. Let's see, let me see what is missing right here. Why is, uh, because did we not have that there? Sorry about that. So now we have that working and now it is providing us with the structure that we'll be using. And the structure, again, it's represented first name, last name, salary, jersey number, position, height, weight, points per game, hometown, home state, and captain. And so that is the best way that we can represent this.